Hey everybody, this is Jawal. We're here to talk about Crenja and the bot that is allowing people to play it. The bot is in the Crenja Warriors Discord group. It's called Keithus. Keithus was the original master of Crenja in the book The Final Reflection. And the book is basically Keithus teaching his orphan child how to be a warrior through the game. The game itself is played on the Discord chat room with a command. And we start off with an invite. This will invite a player. I'm going to invite Frank. And we'll just do a standard Quinja game. The bot will handle some of the variants if you're familiar with Quinja, but I prefer the good old standard. So, Hmm. Okay, I'm Karang, and uh, I'm one of the uh, teachers here in the clinical room. Okay, I have been invited. So, what do I do now if I want to play the game? Well, it didn't say. It said you weren't here. Well, and I'm not showing you in the room. I'm insulted. Well, we'll do this the other way. I will do an open invite. Okay, so now I want to accept. So I. Uh, we click on the reaction. This is on the first in the list. Okay. And so the spindles were tossed. You got a nine, I got a six. So now you get to pick your color. Okay, I want the green. Okay, then click on the green. All right. And now you get to choose your placement. You can choose you can choose to place first or second. Or you can let me choose. Um if you're new to the game, it would probably be best if you let me go first so you can see how it works. Right. And uh the honorable thing to do would to uh would be to defer the uh decision to you anyway. So I will do that and now you decide. Okay, so I'll go ahead and take first placement. So this is the Quinja board. And all the cells are referenced by a letter followed by two numbers. And all the pieces are referenced by name. So for my first piece, I'm going to place the blockader on that point just below the apex. And I do that by signaling the bot. And saying blockader, and I want it at so on row G. And if you go down the diagonal to the left, it intersects with three. If you go down the diagonal to the right, it intersects with five. So that's G35. So there's my first placement, and now I just do the same thing with the others. I'm gonna put the swift. At G36. And then signal the bot and put the swift at G36. All right. So I continue placing my pieces, and when I'm done. OK, I see what you're doing here, Jawohl. Uh, KZ exclamation point addresses the bot, and then you just give it the name of the piece and where you want to put it. Yeah. And the bot does the rest, right? Yep. Outstanding. So in a normal game, you have two flyers and three vanguards. They're normally not numbered, but to make it easy for typing, I have given them numbers, and you reference it by the number. I try to make Would it, it as possible. Possible instead of uh, like flyer one to say flyer, say G35. 
Yes. Or 25, 400G25. Could you uh, address it that way? Once they're on the board, but when you're placing them, they're not actually anywhere, so there's no way to tell it where it's at. But yes, once it's on the board, you can reference it by flyer at G25, G30, whatever, and it will reference it. It'll find the right flyer. Very good. You can also just go name. Now, a fully formal move is a piece name with an add sign and then a cell number. And then either a greater than sign for a move or an X for a kill. And then the cell it's going to, and you might have other things in there. And if you want to type out all that, if you just love to type, you're welcome to do so, but it's not required. Well, if you're uh, reading a game, you know, a, a list of a game, that's probably the way it's going to be uh, input. So I guess it'd be a good thing to know how to read that. Yeah, and once the placement's done, I can show you that. That took a bit. Two pieces to go. I'm going to place my Lancer and my final Vanguard. And I can go for symmetry or I can go for a little frontal assault. So I'm going to place this at H45. So now it would be your turn to place the pieces. Okay, I'm going to uh, choose the uh, quadrant right uh, across from you, right hand side. So okay. now, if I want to place my blockader, at G47. Okay. All right. Now, my swift would be at uh, G57. Uh, if I screw up and put it in the wrong place, can I go back and correct it? I haven't set, figured out a way to make that work yet. Okay, so I, I just have to be careful. If you have any okay. suggestions on how to make that work, I'm certainly willing, but the setup is about the only place where there's little room for error, the rest of the game, once you're on the board, moving is pretty simple. As I've made it as about as foolproof as you can make it. I'll show you when we Oh, get. it's uh, pretty easy. Let's say put a Vanguard at H56. Okay. Put a vanguard at F fifty eight. Okay.
Place my third vanguard at H fifty seven. Place my Lancer at H seventy eight. Uh, let's see what I got left. Uh, Fencer go and uh. What's that? Uh, flyers. Uh, flyers. Flyers in the fencer. Okay. Well, let me get my fencer in. So we're at I-89. Okay. <clears throat> Flyer one is going to be I-77. F1, no L. Uh, what did I do? You did FL1. FL? Just do F1. I thought... no, either way. F1? Yep. Okay. So now it's going to be F1 at I-77. All right. And then F2 at G79. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Need a space. Okay. So now I get to place my goal. The goal has to go on one of the warriors that can carry it. So I can put it on any of my vanguards, my fencer, or my land. Uh, and to do that, I just say go to fencer. And there he is. Okay, and now I want to... Uh... You place the gold just like the other pieces. Is it possible to place the gold uh, that's uh, on an empty space or does it have to be uh, on the place of a carrier warrior? The standard rules specify that the goal is placed with a carrier at start. So okay. the rule, the bot makes sure you do that. It won't let you, if you try to put it somewhere that's not valid, it will say that you can't place the goal there and it will wait for you to try again. So it does check all the rules and it tries to follow them and make sure that you do. Okay. So we're ready to start the battle now. Uh, I'm going to 
do this without the thought recognition. This is what I'm going to type in for a command. And it's telling the vanguard number two to move right one cell. How about that? And so you can see, Kerrang, that it tells you my last move was Vanguard 2 at I-45 moved to I-55. So even though all I typed was R period, it expressed it out as a fully formed move. Okay. So you can reference it by cell or you can reference it by navigation. If you do by the navigation, you can do north, south, east, west. You can do left, down, left, right, up, down. It's up to you. The only thing is, when you do navigation, it has to end with a period. But aside from that, you can do everything without ever having to reference a cell name. Okay. So. Let's see how this works. Vanguard at H fifty six. Moves to R fifty six. Did I do something wrong? No, that should take. We're getting some lag in here, and I don't quite know why. Okay, okay. well, let's just uh, scratch that. Okay. That's going to be Vanguard 1. Vanguard 1, 2... I-56. Could I have just simply said Vanguard to I-56? As long as there's only one that would work? Not quite yet. That is something I'm planning to get working, but right now there are times it will recognize the Vanguard, but right now that's not one of them. So... And you can see I killed your Vanguard 1, and he's up there back in his off-the-board state. Mm-hmm. And the move shows it was a kill. Okay. I'm going to say So you need to specify V2. Yeah. If I only had one Vanguard left, that would have worked. But unfortunately, I have three. 
Okay, so I am going to take the uh, the Vanguard, which isn't a very good move, but I don't really think we want to be playing this game for a couple of hours. That's uh, not on my list. We will play a few more moves. We've basically shown what the bot can do. Let's see what I can do with this. Okay, well, I think we can end the game quickly. Because I will purposefully uh, allow the game to end in the next two moves. Just so we can uh, show, you know, a full game. Okay. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Crap. That's all right. What did you do? You just fired to you. Well, that is an interesting move. That's one reason I like to place my flyers the way I do and leave a couple of spaces open in my uh, zone of control. Okay, and again, this is not a move that I would ordinarily make because I'm about to lose the game. But this is a demo game, and uh, we're demonstrating how the bot works. So just to show what I'm going to type is that, and that will use Flyer 1 to take the fencer. All right, you won the game, and I concede to a superior warrior. Well, thank you. Did I rest in Tesca's Taltaikleon? But you can see the bot has recognized the game is finished. It has colored the bar. You got gold to show that the gold player won, and you can see the gold flyer has captured the green goal. So that is a complete game from the bot. And if we wanted to play another one, I could do another invite. And we would start again. Okay. Well, the this is a uh, very good bot that you've made. Okay. I like the way the, uh, the, the letters and numbers are to reference the squares. And uh, I see a lot of potential for this. And uh, thank you for a good game, uh, Joel. And I appreciate the chance to uh, for you to uh, teach me the box. Okay. You're certainly welcome, and I've enjoyed it myself.
The only other thing I would like to mention, there is help. So if you want to actually look at the game, you can do the help to see all the different commands. And the website that's listed up there actually has the help in a more interactive format. So you can go there to actually learn the commands if you want to get a little more familiar. It does not teach the game. There are plenty of sites out there for that already, but it does teach you how to use the bot. All right. I mean, uh, once people learn how to use the bot, uh, we have enough teachers here in the uh, channel to uh, teach people the game. Absolutely. Well, Joe, all this was a very uh, entertaining and informative uh, thing. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Have a good night, everybody. Good night.